Lock it in, baby. Dude, this is so hard. Hi, everyone. My name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Sorry Girls. And as you guys know, we like to DIY our entire lives. And prom season is coming up, so we thought it'd be a really fun challenge to see if we could DIY our own hair and makeup for prom. prom. Even though we're much older than prom, I know a lot of you guys are still going, so this might be interesting for you anyways. Or any kind of special event. Even, I mean, wedding is like a different, a different mm, game. Mm, mm. Becky's like, no, <laughs> don't do it. We're trying to figure out, is it worth it to get your hair and makeup done by a professional or if you should just DIY it coming from two people that I like hate doing my own hair and makeup. <laughs> I do the same thing for my makeup every day so while I'm good at that one thing like trying to do anything else is like I don't know. Definitely not experts over here so hopefully some of you can relate to our experience level. So what we're gonna do is Becky's gonna get her makeup done. I'm gonna get my hair done. We're going to pick out what we think we want for our special event slash mm -hmm. prom. We're going to go get it done by professionals, and then afterwards we're going to recreate that look on our own. Elves. And you can tell us who you think did better. Did you think it was worth it for us to spend all that money to get it done? We can tell you our thoughts when we're done. But first let's pick out our uh, dream looks. On the good old Pinterest. Yes, ladies. <laughs> you look so good. How am I gonna do this? I guess we definitely should do some kind of like updo. Updo, downdo, side do. Sensing a trend here. It's like nude eyes with really good eyeliner. Oh god, I suck at braids, but they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, there's like 80 of the same picture all of a sudden. Definitely don't want anything too bridal. I feel like all of these are so photoshopped too that it's like already unfair. That face tune dough. How am I gonna be able to do these? Can I just pick a ponytail? I'm thinking something like this. This seems like a little bit like it's fancy, but I could probably do it or get somewhere close. Okay, I think that this is the one. Kind of whimsical, plus a braid. Don't even know what kind of braid that is. But I think I could tackle this one. I guess let's head to the salon. All right, we are on our way to the mall now to see how the professionals do. Are you excited? I'm not excited for how long this is supposed to take, though. An hour and a an half? An hour and a half for yours. Are you kidding me? 45 minutes to an hour for mine, so. I think so, do. <laughs> But we're gonna look good, hopefully. Hopefully not that good so that my attempt at it doesn't look so bad in comparison. We'll see. This <laughs> is easy going. Um, is that a crimper? Oh my god, 80s. <laughs> Okay, had to leave Kelsey to keep getting our hair done, and I'm going to get mom makeup done. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking to get done. This is more makeup than I think I will ever own in my lifetime, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> okay, we done. We looking fab. She said I'm ready for my wedding, and I was like, did we go a little bit too formal on this? But I'm gonna go see how Becky's doing. Ooh, looks good. Okay, we're done and looking so extra for the middle of the day on a week in the mall. Also, like, I have my hair and you have your face. It's just, like, weird. <laughs> I know, we're both missing half of something here. We're gonna go back to the office and model these for you. Like, it's our prom. <laughs> yeah! final looks turned out. Mine's like even kind of already coming apart already. Mine looks so extra that I don't know what I'm gonna do. How much did yours cost you, Becky? $50. $50 and free product. Honestly, guys, that is like such a freaking steal. And yours was what, like 120 bucks and you got, all you got was some free bobby pins? Yeah, a lot of free bobby pins. <laughs> let's try and go recreate these now. Yeah. All right, let's get this out the easy way. All right, it's DIY time. Oh, I honestly don't know much about anything about hair. I do know that I should probably, since I have really thin hair, add some kind of like texture and volume so that everything sticks and stays and looks better. So I have this like volumizing powder. It's so awkward doing something that you don't know how to do in front of people. I don't know if you can tell, but I put some texture in there. Oh yeah, this will be easier to do my hair now. Let's put in some extensions. I'm definitely not gonna do as many as she did. Also, low-key don't have a comb, so. These are my fancy hair extensions. 
from Nikki when she uh, did the video with us. So my plan is to honestly just like put the extension in my hair and curl my hair. It's like I'm just gonna do my hair as if I'm having a curly hair day and then just like put it up in a bun. Okay, so we have some curly hair going on. It looks like a soft bun. I have one. That's how it looks. Is that crazy? Let's try it. I'm trying to be authentic to the photo. Okay. Yes, work little sock bun. Is it a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Dude, this is so hard. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take like these other pieces that I have and kind of like wrap them around. <laughs> I feel like I should figure out where I want this braid to go. I might need another one of these babies. You are the braid. Be the braid. Again, no comb. I feel like they used a fancy braid, but I don't know how to fancy braid. I also don't have fancy, um, you know, those like clear things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anybody else? Did you guys have the braces? Are you near to wear the elastics? And did you use those hair, those elastics for your braces as hair elastics? Let me know because me. <laughs> Since I don't have a thin elastic, I'm gonna use the thinnest elastic I have. We're all making it messy. Oh yeah, messiness. Throwback, messy, make it messy, guys. So let's bring this in, y'all. Yeah? And now we just need to like put all this other stuff around. Put my sleeves back in. I feel like I just wanna curl some of these pieces that are out, which I want them to be out, but I just want them to be purposefully out. Lock it in, baby. I'm gonna be dancing all night at prom. Stay, 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 stay. I'll show you guys what the final looks like and compare it to the salon and our inspo photo. And you guys can tell me how you think we did. I already have the hair extensions. I didn't buy anything else. I didn't buy any hair accessories and I didn't buy any more bobby pins, I just kind of used what I had. This cost me zero dollars and it took about, honestly, maybe an hour tops and that's half as long as it took at the salon. Okay, let's go attempt this. So we are gonna try and get something close to this picture with what I have and the skills that I have and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I don't have anything here aside from what I use normally anyways, except for some fake eyelashes. I feel like um, in the photo and when the girls did it for me and if I was going out for prom anyways, that I'd put a lot more like foundation on than I do normally. I usually don't wear foundation really, I just wear concealer, but you wanna look good in photos, so I'll probably just go all out. If you guys wanna know anything I'm using in this video, you should check out the video I did where I talked about if my makeup was cruelty free or not and I went through my makeup bag and most of this stuff is the same except for the few things I had to replace. <laughs> Get it. I have the world's tiniest brush to blend this out. <laughs> Do -do -do. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's just do the fingers. Yeah. Good old fingers. I went to Sephora once and she told me to use my fingers. <gasps> I went to Sephora once, <laughs> so I'm a makeup artist now. She has like a super good contour. Because I feel like there's potential to mess this up, with the eyeshadow, I'm gonna do that next. This is gonna be the hardest part, for real, because her eyes just look so good. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm already getting a little nervous. Never use anything dark in this palette ever. It's kind of a waste of money, but <laughs> today's the day to use it. <laughs> All I know is the key to good makeup is to just blend really well, and you can't really go wrong. I know another thing, though, is that lashes save everything. Ah. You kind of mess up and you put a lash on top of it. Fine. Oh, that feels like too much. <laughs> Just caught in a fight with some guy down the street. It's all good. <laughs> I feel like such a beauty guru right now. Just stamping the eyeshadow. Also, I apologize that my mouth is open this entire time. I can't do makeup and not make that silly face. It's kind of just looking like I have like two black eyes. If anyone is like actually a makeup artist and watching this, they're probably cringing so hard. <laughs> Okay, browser did. I like half did my skin because then I moved on to eyes. I'm gonna finish that and then lashes. We're kind of almost done. Blend, blend, blend your face gently down your neck. I have pink eyeshadow. Is it the craziest idea to like use that as blush? Oh, that's so DIY, Becky. Is it? It's the closest thing to pink we got. 
Yeah, sure. Okay, highlighter. She's definitely got like a ton of that on. Mm-hmm. Contour didn't go well, it's fine. Just put some highlighter on top. I think it's good. Falsies. Yeah. No, oh, it got glue all over the end. Ah. Ah. <laughs> You're so awkward. How do I get, th get there? <laughs> I feel like it's for sure not as good as the makeup artist one. Because when I, she did that one on me, my skin looked actual like plastic. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up and then we will compare the two looks. This one cost me, I mean I guess $8 in fake lashes, but really it cost me nothing and to get it done professionally was $50. It's a good deal to go get it done, but it still did cost me money versus doing it myself. So you tell us who did it better. So we're ready for our prom. Now, how do you think we did? I think I did it too dark. Like it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I guess the big thing is, is this passable for a prom or a night out? Like, is it good enough? And I think definitely. I'd wear this out, that looks awesome. Oh, thanks. And is it worth it? So, we came to the collective decision. Mm -hmm. I think it's totally fine to do your own hair. I think it's pull-offable from somebody who doesn't yes. really do hair at all. I was able to hack it together, and I'm sure you could try different hairstyles that you might be more comfortable with too. Especially for the price that you paid, and the time it took to go get it done. It was yeah. expensive and it took a long time. The amount you go to Sephora and spend there all the time, like you can get a free makeover. It just, it makes way too much sense. So hair, I would DIY and makeup, I would maybe try to get it done by a professional. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like stuff like this, tune into Thursdays. We do these weird trial, mm -hmm. go do things. Um, and if you like it, let us know in the comments below. And we also have more prom stuff. I think we're gonna do a prom thrift flip, Ooh. which was requested. It's been requested for a couple of years now. So we're gonna tackle that this year. And this episode is actually pretty similar to our 30 versus 300 or something versus 300 type DIY. So if you like the saving money aspect, we can link some below, you can check those out as well. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ashley can put this in the bloopers because oh, it's God. freaking weird. Here. Okay, Google, how do you braid? <laughs> okay, Google, stop. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. <laughs> she just really wants to tell us.